हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू गेट एकेडमी सो एज ऑफ नाउ व्हाट आई हैव डिस्कस्ड इज व्हाट इज अ प्रोग्राम व्हाट इज अ प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज व्हाई वी नीड टू लर्न प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज व्हाई वी आर सपोज्ड टू इंटरेक्ट विद कंप्यूटर इज इट रियली नेसेसरी टू कम्युनिकेट विद कंप्यूटर फॉर एवरीवन नो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड व्हाट इज एन इंटरफेस व्हाट इज अ यूजर एंड व्हाट इज अ प्रोग्रामर हाउ यूजर access the programs written by programmer through an interface okay and 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 today we will discuss about data types okay okay sir 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 we have already discussed that we have different types of data for example for example a data could be a number like like a password in bank atm like pin number it is just like 1 2 3 4 it is not of type a b c d okay sir it could be a number with a decimal point like 12.59 okay it could be text for example consider google map we have source and destination and within this source text box i cannot write 1 2 3 1 even if i write it is of no use that means sir can we provide it as number no but but is it okay to write goa yeah i want a route from goa to delhi so so here 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 the input is of form text number with a decimal point and a number let's try to understand let's try to understand different data types and why we need data types sir we have already discussed that there is something called as input and output sir almost every program used to take something from the user used to take some input from the user from where user is supposed to provide the input sir in almost almost all the cases user user will provide the input from keyboard almost in all the cases user is providing the input user will provide the input from keyboard okay think for a moment think for a moment think for a moment sir let us suppose this is the monitor and this is the keyboard just try to grasp the logic don't think much don't think much sir this is the monitor this is the keyboard somewhere there is cpu and some connections is there wiring and all that i am not concerned about that sir user is providing the input from where from where user is providing the input user is providing the input from keyboard there are different keys on this keyboard don't worry i don't know the exact sequence i didn't remember hai na and i need not to remember actually sir user user is providing input from keyboard and this input this input is going in our program sir user is using the keyboard and pressing some keys to provide input but 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 what a machine understand internally what a machine understand sir do machine understand this all this no sir what machine understand is only 0 and 1 machine only understand 0 and 1 that means that means sir whatever input the user is providing from the keyboard for a machine for a machine it is nothing but some sequence of 0 and 1 am i right or not it is nothing but some sequence of 0 and 1 whatever input the user is providing no matter even whether the user is providing or user is pressing a from the keyboard user is pressing capital a from the keyboard but for a machine but for a machine how machine machine will receive it sir machine for a machine it is nothing but a sequence of 0 and 1 please think for a moment please think for a moment sir whatever input the user is providing from the keyboard for a machine 
it is nothing but some sequence of 0 and 1. It is nothing but some sequence of zeros and 1. Then how, how the program understand that how to handle this sequence of 0 and 1 in the program. How to treat this sequence of 0 and 1 in the program. Please try to understand this. Please try to understand this that the program get to know that whether to treat this sequence of 0 and 1 as a number like 12 or something else or as a number with floating point or as, as a symbol. Because, because no matter even, even if you provide an integer from a keyboard for a machine, it is nothing but another sequence of 0 and 1. If you provide a floating value like 17.89, Again, for a machine, how it received that 17.89? For a machine, it is another sequence of 0 and 1. Even if you press a symbol like capital A or at the rate or underscore or minus or plus, how machine will receive it? Sir, for a machine, every sim, everything, whatever, whatever input you are providing, it is nothing but some sequence of 0 and 1. Then, Machine need to identify, machine need to identify that, that whether this sequence or some particular sequence of 0 and 1 is to be treated like integer, is to be treated like a number or number with a dot or a particular symbol. Think for a moment, just pause the video and think for a moment what, what I am trying to say. What I am trying to say. Sir, sir, sir. Machine, machine need to know whether to treat the input coming from the keyboard as integer or as a dot value or as a text. That means every programming language must have the facility, every programming language must have the facility to handle different types of data. Every programming language must have the facility to handle different type of data. For example, let us suppose we need to store, we need to store value 10 in our program. Value 10 in our program. Okay, sir, sir. First of all, where we can store a value? Where we can store a value? Sir, inside a container. That means we need to make a variable. But the correct syntax is like this. So, we, we need to understand this three things clearly. First, we are storing 10. We are storing 10. What is 10? Value. Sir, to store, to store a value, what we need? We need a container. That means a variable A. Okay. Then why we are attaching this INT with this variable? Now we are informing now we are informing now our program understand that 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 whatever whatever value is coming or whatever value this variable a is holding our program our program will treat it as integer sir in mathematics what are integer like this whole numbers whole numbers of mathematics in programming they are treated as integer done sir so, that is, that is the sequence to store a integer value. That means, if I will say int a is equal to 10, after few lines of code, can I write a is equal to 20? Of course. Sir, we need to understand few things. For, from this line, what happens? Somewhere in memory, 10 is stored. It must have some address, but as of now, we need not to worry about addresses. Okay. Then we are, we are, we are storing this 10 in A. Actually, what we are doing, we are providing a name to this location. We are providing a name identity. Why identity? Because this A is identifying whether, whether this 10 value, whether this 10 value or where this 10 value is stored. So, so, okay, named identity. That is why it is also called as identifier. That is why it is also called as identifier. Okay. 
and now we are attaching this because 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 we need to tell that whatever value whatever value is stored inside a it has to be treated like a number without a decimal point sir because it is a variable can we change the value inside a of course after few lines of code if you do something like this that means this 10 is replaced by 20 and now wherever in our program we need to access this 20 from here we can directly write a okay done sir perfectly fine perfectly fine let me give you another example sir if I ask you what is 10 plus 20, if I ask you what is 10 plus 20, you will say sir, this is so easy, the answer is 30. If I ask you what is 10 plus 20, you will say sir, it is so easy. What are you asking? The answer is, the answer is 30. Okay. Then I will say, then I will say dear, what is 10 plus Pankaj? Sir, what are you asking? Ask something logical. Have you gone mad? Sir, this is the most ridiculous thing you are asking. I said, how beta? Why? Why? Okay, okay. Sir, sir, we know this is plus and addition is defined on numbers. Addition is defined on numbers. That is why we can answer this. But we are talking about human beings. Okay. Sir, addition is defined on numbers and this is a number, this is a number. Addition is defined on number, this is a number, but this is text. Sir, we can answer that this is ridiculous or this is illogical because, because as a human being, I know that this is a number. I know that this is a number, this is a number and this is a plus. And this is not a number. That is why I can answer. Now, now what we need? What we need? We need, we need our program also understand this, that what is a number and what is a text. Because, because if I ask the same thing to our program, it must behave in the same manner. Na? Of course, sir. We need to inform the compiler. Okay. That means, that means, that means, sir, in the same way, our program need to understand whether what, what type of data it is. That means, that means, if I show this to a program, program must, must understand that this is, this is integer, this is text. So, so our program need to understand how to handle different type of data, whether it is coming from the keyboard or, or, or there is some constant like 10 and 20. Our program need to understand this and that is why, that is why every programming language must have facility for different type of data, whether, whether it is number or anything else. Okay, let me give you another example. If I ask you, if I show this symbol to a human being and to a machine, Sir, which one of them will recognize this easily? Sir, human being will recognize this because this is human readable. But, but on the other hand, on the other hand, if I show this to a human being or any other big number, don't think about that this is only the number, it could be a larger number then which of them will recognize this easily sir machine because this is machine readable we as a human being we are not good with number more specifically binary number but machine is good with 0 and 1 we are good with textual data machine is not good with textual data try to understand sir this is this is machine friendly this is this is human friendly or user friendly Okay, sir. Okay. That means, that means, sir, 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 somehow, if we are pressing any symbol from the keyboard like A, for a machine, it is nothing but some particular sequence of 0 and 1. Of course, sir. That means every symbol on the keyboard must have a binary code. Sir, what is binary code? 
just like decimal number system, we have binary number system. Don't worry about it. We will discuss everything in detail. But as of now, you can understand it that, that for a machine, everything is 0 and 1. Everything. So, whatever you press from the keyboard, it must get converted into 0 and 1. And that is what a machine will receive. That is what your program will receive. That means if even if you are pressing A, A for A, there must be some particular sequence of 0 and 1. Done, sir. Okay, sir, this number is written in binary number system. Okay, sir. Sir, if I convert this, if I convert this sequence into decimal number system, again, don't worry, we will discuss these things in detail. Don't worry about it. Sir, the actual value is 65. That means, try to understand, sir, the same sequence, I am saying the same sequence represent a symbol as well as an integer. A symbol as well as an integer. Try to understand this. Now, now, try to understand it last time, sir. Whatever input we are providing from the keyboard for a machine, machine will receive that input in terms of 0 and 1. That means for a machine, everything, whatever it is coming, it is nothing but 0 and 1. A sequence or a stream of 0 and 1. Okay. Try to understand. Now machine need to understand whatever sequence of 0 and 1 it is receiving. How to treat that inside. How to handle it in the program. Whether to handle it as an integer or a integer. Uh, sorry. Or a value with a dot or a symbol or a text. Okay. For example. Sir, for the same sequence of 0 and 1, it can be a, a symbol, it can be a number. Now, we need to inform the compiler how to treat, how to treat this sequence of 0 and 1, whether like an integer or whether like a character. That means, sir, we need to understand different types of data. So, our agenda our agenda is different types of data type in C programming language. Different types of data type in C programming language. So, as of now, I hope things must be clear. Why data types? Why data type in any programming language? In next lecture, we will discuss in more depth about data type. Bye-bye. Take care.